Hello there. I'm Trevor. And I'm Jessica. And today on Summer in the Middle, we're here at the 66 Market. That's right. We're back. It's another year. And we're here for more food. So come along as we try some new eats and uh, enjoy ourselves at another 66 night. Let's go. I'm hungry. Me too. Let's go. This one's the wagyu or the pork? Do you remember? It's about the, the seaweed top. I don't remember offhand. It's a good sausage. The casing has a nice little um, punch to it. I think that's the pork. This is the pork sausage. It tastes like pork. Yeah. It's a good pork sausage and um. I feel like the flavorings, I don't taste that much. Mostly the pork sausage, so it's a good thing it's a good pork sausage. There's some sort of like, uh, I don't know if it's anchovies or whatnot on top. They don't have a lot of flavor to them, really. Well, mm. let's see what you think. Huh? All right, so yeah, this is the pork dog. That's really good. Good pork sausage, right? Really good. Nice snap, great flavor. The soy, it's really good. Not so crispy like whatever the heck those are. Oh, I think yeah. they're supposed to be anchovy, but I'm not sure. They don't have a lot of flavor to them. They're not that crispy either. The Wagyu beef. It's got seaweed, it's got Japanese mayo, it's got some onion on there. Mm. Mm. Whatever sauce is on this, besides the mayo, they do the onions, it's delicious. Mm. Great flavor. I would say this one has more flavor. The other one was a really good pork sausage, though, and this is a good beef sausage, but I like the flavorings of the toppings better. Mm. A little drippy, but, but good. So you would. The girl said she likes the, the actually she likes the pork sausage better with that flavoring. Oh. But she says everyone wants to get the wagyu because it's wagyu. Yeah. So you eat a sausage, the same toppings. Yeah. Yeah. We ended up getting that other flavor that. Let's see what you think. The wagyu dog. Mm -hmm. Watch the drip. Dripped all over me. <laughs> Yeah, sauce is awesome. It's the caramelized onions too. Yeah. Mm. I think, I think, Sour? I'm with her. The wagyu is great, but I, I like the pork sausage. Yeah, it's a good pork sausage. I'm, not, I'm picky about my sausages. Both of those are good. That's a really good wagyu though. Mm. Very flavorful. Mm. So sweet. Got the bulgogi fries. <laughs> it's got like a sweet marinade to it. I guess that's the bulgogi. Bulgogi, yeah. It's very uh, tender, easy to eat. It's good. I would. I, it's missing some spice. I think it needs a spice level. <laughs> bulgogi is not really a spicy thing, though. Well. Oh. It makes it just a little bit better. I feel like it's missing a spice, but it's good. A little bit of the sauce. You can smell the garlic here, Miso. Yeah, it needs more heat, like you said. Yeah, make it a little bit better with this heat. I would like more it's, heat. It's filling. Yeah. This will fill you up for sure. Price isn't a little expensive, 15 bucks for some fries, but at the same point, it'll fill you up.
All right, kimchi, pasta. It's like creamy, it looks like a vodka sauce almost. Make sure I get a bite of that kimchi in there. Right. Mm. Yeah. That, that is, that's uh, straight up vodka pasta with kimchi. That's spaghetti. It's good. I like that. Mm, nice piece of kimchi. Got all that cheese in yeah, there. Make sure you get the kimchi. Mm. But kimchi gives it so much flavor. Super creamy. I never thought about putting kimchi in pasta too. I really like this. It works. It honestly makes me think uh, you add some kimchi and some spam to mac and cheese, like Kraft macaroni and cheese, and it would be fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Really good. Mm. So, Anissa or Anissa, I don't know how to pronounce it, but. I highly recommend that place. We're two for two so far. I would say Japa Dog was worth getting. Yeah. And uh, Anissa. Yeah. Fusion absolutely. pasta, fries, solid. Agreed. On to the next. On to the next. I got it spicy. Good choice, spiciness, I like it. It's tender, it's good. Meat on a skewer. Exactly what I expected it to be. Lamb skewer, and it's spicy. Might be cooked, nice and juicy, good flavor. It just, the lamb could be a little bit more gamey if I'm being honest, but still good. Last savory dish of the night. We're full, but I don't know. This is one of those things. All that dumpling, been wanting. Yeah. Oh. Perfect amount of heat. Scallions are great. Really good flavor there. Nice pork on the inside. Texture of the noodles, great. I'm liking it. More for me. They just eat an uneven number. So now only one of us gets one and the other one gets two. Thanks, Dad. I guess I'll eat one. Michaela says she was full. She didn't want one. I'll take one. Oh, yeah, there's that spice. Definitely like spice. Sure, you only want one? Yeah. A good savory little bite. Mm. The filling's very doughy, but that peach is good. A little crunchy. Looks like it needs some ice cream. I feel like yeah, I mean, ice, ice cream would ice top cream it off. Would make it amazing. <laughs> yeah, the flavors are awesome. It's just, it's mushy. A little bit of peach, a little bit of crust. Mm. The cinnamon hits you right away. It's definitely a little mushy though. Yeah. That's my biggest complaint. You could use like a textural, like the granola, granola or... of some sort. Yeah, but the flavors are good. I feel I really taste the that cinnamon. Maybe that nutmeg, or there's almost like a ginger or something. Oh no, it's a citrus. There's like a lemon zest or something in it. That's good. It's got some different flavor notes, which I like. 
just missing the texture crunch. All right, well, thanks for joining us in this episode. Another night at 626 night. We enjoyed a, a lot of food. We sure did. I'm full. Me too. And we've even got some stuff to go home with, apparently. My take home bag gets bigger and bigger every year. So. But I'm uh, okay with that. Desserts and repeats, basically. Things that we didn't get in the episode that we probably yes. had before at other 626 nights. But in this episode, we're gonna feature those. We only featured yeah. new food. And uh, again, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Alvita Zane. Snack on, dudes. <laughs>